We've been covering the family featured in that story. They live in Rockland. Their son died after buying what he thought was a pain pill, but it turned out to be laced with fentanyl. Earlier today, KCRA 3's Tony Vallier spoke with State Senator Melissa Melendez about tackling the problem by going after dealers. Senator, the CDC says 81,000 people have died from overdoses this last year, many of those from fentanyl. I know you've introduced a bill to hopefully change that. Explain SB 350 and what it aims to do. Thank you, Tony, for having me on the line to explain this bill. SB 350 is modeled after the DUI laws that we currently have in place. Someone gets a DUI before the court and the judge explains to them this type of behavior could result in the death of another human being. It's dangerous. You need to stop doing this. If you are if you are caught doing this again and somebody dies as the result of you drinking and driving, you could be charged with murder. So we are wanting to apply the same standard to those who deal fentanyl and manufacture and sell these drugs on the street. That if you are caught doing that, you will get a second chance. You will be warned. If you continue to do this and someone dies as a result of you dealing these drugs, then you could be charged with murder. And you probably have some personal reasons that led you to write this bill as well. I do. Um, I've heard from a lot of parents, a lot, too many. It's it's very, very sad. But I do have a constituent who reached out to me, Matt Capilouto, and his daughter, Alexandra, died. She would have been 22 years old um, just, just recently. She just had a birthday. And she died two days before Christmas because she took one pill that she thought was one thing. It turned out to be laced with fake fentanyl, and it killed her. And they found her two days before Christmas. And I hear too many of these stories, and I want these kids to stop dying from taking one pill. And Senator Melendez says even if her bill passes, she does not expect the problem to disappear overnight. But she says she hopes that this will prevent some of those drug overdoses.